Said I didn't answer for you to finish. You don't call me any name. My friend. The answer, finish. If I ask you yeah. a question, what is your name? And you say... My name is Rami. Listen. If I ask you what is your Shall name? Yeah. And you say, if you tell me what bus goes from Marble Arch to Oxford Circus, then you'll know my name. I tell you why. Because, How's that? That's because, very cryptic, isn't because it? Because the answer... Very cryptic. The answer but is... That is not even close to the discussion we yes, had. Yes, yes, yes. Because we were discussing... Now, let me, let me, let me help you now. Okay. Talk me. We were saying the word son, S-O-N in the English language, what does it mean as you applied it in your statement? You said, if you answer the question whether Jerusalem well, first and Mecca later, it will help you understand the yeah. word meaning of the word sun. You will help, and now, help you to now, understand. That is wait, wait. Yeah. If, if you really think so, you're in the wrong discussion. So I'm, I, I'm going to end the discussion. Uh, no, I will I answer you. I tell you. you I'm not interested. Well, so, okay. well. okay. so, uh, Edward, Edward. You see, that relationship is the biggest no, no, mystery. Listen, Edward, 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 Edward. Jehovah, Jehovah's Witnesses slow down. also slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. I haven't Edward, asked you about relationships that you think Jesus has with God. Yes. I'm simply asking you, you made a statement in the English language. Yes. And I am asking you to qualify your statement by giving the meaning of the word son as you've used it. For example, let me help you now. The word son in the English language means the following, several meanings, either, either. It means a literal meaning of biological son. Excuse me. You answer that, no problem. Hello? I got Hi, you know, record when I'm he's I'm talking to some really interesting, interesting people here. We're having a really awesome. good discussion. But, you know, that's it. You know, the, it's actually tight. Okay. So, 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 no, I'm saying say you're concerned. The before, before you explain, I was explaining to you about yeah. the word son. So it means a literal son, like your biological offspring. No, not in this particular case. No, I'm not saying this is what it applies. I'm, I'm going to give you the options first. Right? Yes. As explained in the English language dictionaries, is we speak in English. Yes. A literal meaning of a biological offspring, whether of a human being or yes. animals and so on. Yes. Right? This is the son. Yes. Or a figurative meaning where you call someone your son yes. out of compassion, out mm -hmm. of love, for example. Someone younger than me, I could call him my son, how are you? He's Even though he's not my yes. biological son. Yes. Or you can call someone son by yes. a legal sense of the meaning, yes. an adopted son. Uh -huh. You can adopt someone legally and in papers it says he is your son and you're his father, right? That's it, you can call your father and you can call him your son. Legal. Yes. So, briefly speaking, you have these three meanings of the word son. Uh -huh. So when you use the word son, yes. which of the meanings do you apply? In the ten, when, it is, when I describe the God of the Bible, no. Then because don't use the word son then, because you're using a word and not using any of its meaning. So you are, okay. you are in effect, what you're saying is, no, no. you're saying something which no one understands, even though they're supposed to understand it. For example, for example, when I say for example, I could totally mean, it means, how are you today? For example, it's, it's, it's means firing, how are you today? No, you're firing things at me. I'm not firing anything at you. I'm not saying what you should do. I'm only trying to explain from my view, from my perspective, from my faith. I know what you mean. You see, the, the declaration of the Trinity cannot be described by any human language or by any dictionary. Why is it revealed then? Because it was declared at the council called at Nicaea in the year 325. Why did God reveal it? We believe it was there all the time, but it was only public to the I want, I want you to understand one thing. Do we, do, do we all agree there are infinite things about God that we don't possibly, we cannot grasp? Yes. Because we are finite. Yes, of course. Good. When God, the infinite, yes. wants to communicate with the finite, yes. do you agree he will only communicate the things that we will understand? Yes. Otherwise, it yes. will be a failure of communication. So if, for example, God has a nature that it is impossible for you to understand and God communicates to you, that would be a failure of communication because communication has these three essential things. Yes. The, the one who communicates, the message that is communicated, yes. and the one who receives the communication. Right? If there is no one to receive the communication, yes. there is no point communicating. Yes. If the message that is communicated yes. to the recipients yes. is not going to be understood, yes. there is no point communicating. Yes. So if God yes. knows that the Trinity is not something that anyone can grasp, why 
did he communicate something that would be impossible to communicate? It's a failure of communication, isn't it? Yeah, it was the answer is Jesus. The word became flesh. And you said Jesus was no one understands as a man. Jesus. He spoke as a man and drew twelve men towards him and gave him their authority. He also healed the men. And if he was the man, then he could not be God. Not any way, shape, or form. Because if you are God, you cannot be anything other than God. I'll tell you what. Is God all loving? Can he become hate if he's all loving? Why not? He is all love. He is love. He is, he is because the concept of love, all loving, automatically excludes anything that contradicts all loving. Hate being one of them. If God is God, anything that contradicts him being not God will be what? Rejected. So human beings, by definition, are weak, dependent, finite, limited, created. This is all antithesis to God. Do you agree? That means when, when, no, that means. Please be, you know, sure, sure. a little bit more understanding. I am limited for time. Sure. So when, when you say God became a human, you're saying God became non God. God all loving became not all loving. God all knowledgeable became not all knowledgeable. Can you allow me, please? Explain. I believe that Jesus was perfect man and perfect God in perfect unity. Hence, he was able to forgive men's sins, and yet he needed to eat and drink. Was he unknowledgeable? Sorry? Was he unknowledgeable? In his divinity, yes, from his humanity. If that's not complete. When, that is a when Jesus was speaking, was he speaking as God or as a man? Oh, perfect unity. Yeah. So when he was saying, does that fig tree have any figs? Who was speaking? Jesus to man or Jesus to God? Both. So this is the God, knowing there is no figs, he still said, there might be figs. Knowing there is no figs, by still saying there might be figs. So when he says, no one knows the hour, no one knows the hour. Not even the, not even the angels, not even the son, but only the father. So are you saying, are you saying, at that moment, God, the son, in your belief, knew the hour when it's going to come to the world's going to come to an end. He knew. Again, because Jesus, I believe, was perfect man and God in perfect unity. As a perfect God, said, did he know his... when the hour is going to come? God the Father, God the Son is separate, but God he's of the one, one, one subs. If, if God the Son is God, but they are still separate. Is that the question? Edward, God the Son, in your belief, he is all knowledgeable, right? Can I just say something? This is, is he all knowledgeable? All the way I through this, know. Not, I know. but I'm trying to explain. But you are firing things at me, and you are. It's like every single thing you say to me is a challenge. Understand that Why I'm is not this so challenging because of the Simple way things. that you were talking. Okay. Have I, I said? Not, have I said anything that is insulting you apart from me shouting over? No. I'm shouting, shouting because I cannot hear even myself. So much oh, noise. That's right. okay. So you should have said you know, to shout. I, I, I apologized before, right? Because I feel like, intimidated because everything you say is like, oh, it's like this. Is it that? Sorry, sorry. Is sorry, it in the diction? And I, it's like, I'm like, yeah, well, this is yeah. what I believe. You know, I know what you believe. But I'm only trying to explain. I, I believe. I'm going to try to not be very quiet. I respect your if sincerity. You, if you don't listen, and because I'm going to be speaking in a very low voice, tell me, I'll, I'll raise my voice. When you believe Jesus is the Son of God, yes. God the Son, He is God. Perfect God. Perfect God has perfect knowledge. He knows everything. Or not? But the fact that they can talk to one another, they are equal. But there are certain things attributed to God the Father that are not contributed to God the Son. The attributes contributed to God connected with God the Son is that He is the Saviour of the human race. He is that being of the Blessed Trinity we believe. Who encapsulated, who took on human flesh and died a cruel death. In place on the sacrifice. So when it comes to knowledge, God Edward, the Father did, did when it comes to knowledge, yes. God the Son in your belief, does he have perfect knowledge? Because to be God, do you agree you have to have perfect knowledge? Yeah? From the point of his humanity. No, no, not humanity. Leave the humanity aside. God the Son. Okay. Was he always human? Before, uh, no. Okay, good. Good, point, good point. Before he was human, 
Was God the Son in your belief perfect in this moment? Yeah, because I believe that he was there when Moses asked the bird of God using the birthing bush, who am, who am, you know, I am, who so am. You believe God, the so you believe God the Son? So you believe God the Son had perfect knowledge? If you have perfect knowledge, that means you know the past, the present and the future. Is it possible for you, while knowing the future, not to know the future later? It's not what I'm asking. Once you are a god and you know the that past. Is your answer is, do you know what your, answer, your question is? I am not god, so I cannot answer that question. Because it is. You know what? You want to know such things that if I knew them, I would be god. What about god the father? Yeah, god. What about god the father? Does he have perfect knowledge? Yes. Okay. Okay. So is it possible for god the father? Can you create something from nothing? Can you create a blade of grass? Can you create a man from nothing? God with his power of his speech. Right. Neither can I. I cannot understand. Did you even hear my statement? Because I am a man who is a Are we talking about man or are we talking about God? We're talking about Jesus. No, about God. This is where I work. You need to understand where I'm coming from. I'm not coming from talking about Jesus the man. We're talking about God. Before the universe was created, do you believe? Do you believe? No, God trusts the man in this. My God, he's going to get it. God, where's my God? Marvelous. Anyway, do you help me with my question? Thanks. Do you know anything about Islam? Yes, I do. Do you know that we believe in the book of God from the Quran? Yes, yes. Please read it. We will clarify a lot of things.